hi guys how are you doing thank you so much for coming back in today's video i'll be showing you how i achieved this threaded fake twist and i'll be showing you step by step if it's your first time you're watching my video thank you so much you are welcome my name is glory mtui and please before you leave hit the subscribe button below and turn on notification bell before i start braiding i make sure i part my hair i part the whole head then i use rubber band to skewer all the sections and then when i just start braiding i only braiding and i find that this method is very easy and i find like uh, i save a lot of time i don't know if it's true or not but i feel like uh, part the section before braiding make things easier because to part my head i use around one hour and braiding i spend like a one and a half hour to braid so i find to braid it's easier because i just remove rubber band apply some gel and then start braiding compare with other video i make section and braid i find section before braiding really can save a lot of time and before i braid i remove this rubber band so here i only want secure i even did apply any gel i just make lines later on i will apply some gel but that is completely option if you don't like use gel this style is also very good to braid without gel and this is how the hair looks like after i part my sections in this video i use this shetland yarn it's different with the one i used in my previous video and let me show you the difference this one is the one i used in my previous video and this one i brought it a couple days ago you may see this one is a bigger than the one i used in my previous video so you use thin one make sure you add more strand each section i use six strand and one i grab mid of this section and then I make sure all sides they're even before I start braiding. So I remove rubber band. Then I apply shining jump, but you can use any kind of gel that works for your hair, but for me I feel like this gel work better for me than other gel, especially when it comes about braiding. I'll hold this big section down there. Then I'll put on top of my natural hair. So this one strand I fold, I will use wrapping till I make sure like uh, this yarn really secured well. I tuck my natural hair in, then I roll the yarn, then I start make twist. I roll before I make twist then after I make twist like three four times then I pull the yarn up then I decided the section I want if I want bigger if I want small that is up to me after I pull so you too when you do this you find the same situation you may decide either to put bigger uh, twist or small depending on which way you like to do when i pull this twist i make sure one strand i fold i'll pull down while other section i'll push up i hope this makes sense then after i finish i take one strand i wrap a couple times and then i secure one time you may decide to secure one time or two times 
front because I make small section. Each section in front I only use four strand. Plus one I use to cross middle. I apply some gel before I start braiding to just make my hair easy to hold it. But you may decide either to add gel or not. And before I make twists, I make sure I tuck my hair in this yarn to avoid my hair to show out especially if hair is natural natural hair is special this coil hair it's very easy to show out compared with curly hair or straight hair so what I do here I make sure I tuck my natural hair in and then I roll it well to cover my natural hair although it's not 100% but at least I try cover my hair for 70% 8% then I start to make twists before I make twists, I make sure I roll the yarn, then the distance from one wrap to another must be equal. Then your twist will come out with the same. It's if one side you put big twists and another step you put small twists, your twist will look different. So when you find this, you may unravel and redo it again. And that is normal thing, even me when I'm braiding other strand I redo it again because one size twist will look bigger than other side so I have to redo it again so this is normal don't feel tired in back section this is how I hold the hair and when it comes to make um, twist I put one side either left or right depending on the side then I start to make twist as other section here I make four times, five times, then I pull and start to make twists. But you may decide to go more if it's more easy for you. You may decide even to make like ten or nine twists before you pull, just to make it easy. But if you are a beginner, the best way is make two or three, then pull it up till you feel like you can make the same size of twist because in because in this method it's very easy to make big twists after you pull you make small it's very easy to make different size of twists but once you know the size it's more easy you may make you may wrap a couple times before you pull So when I'm braiding, I make sure I keep a little space. I didn't tie too tight. Pink don't wrap too tight. Keep some space. Because a lot of people have been complaining that this style is very pain. But actually this style is not pain. It's because the people they braid them, they tie their scalp too much. Or if they braid themselves, they also tie their scalp too much. So when you're braiding, make sure you keep some space before you start to make twists. And if you do that, you'll find that this style is very, very easy and no pain. So here I'm done with braiding, I'll go ahead and trim off all the excess yarn. Make sure my yarn they are clean. You may decide either to burn the ends but that is completely option. For me I don't like burn yarn because after I burn I hate that smell. But if you are okay with that, you may decide to burn and secure well your ends. So guys, this is how the hair looks like. Let me put on makeup and you'll see how I look like. Guess what guys, this is the final result for today's video. I hope you enjoy watching and you get something. If yes, kindly subscribe, like this video and also don't forget to share with someone you wish they know how to braid this hairstyle. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon on my next video. Bye bye.